Hi, my name is Jay Shambo, West Bend City Administrator, and thank you for joining us today as we further explore the West Bend Wastewater Treatment Plant. Today we're with Steve Randall, Wastewater Superintendent, here at the Wastewater Treatment Plant in West Bend, and we're in the tunnel underneath the Wastewater Treatment Plant. Steve, can you tell us a little bit more about yourself and the process that we handle wastewater here in West Bend? Sure, we have 140 miles of sanitary sewer that uh, we collect with. Comes in 60 inch pipe into our headworks. From there it's pumped to the north end of the plant. We have two 90 foot diameter primary clarifiers. From there we go to two 260 foot, uh, 20, 21 foot tall uh, prime, uh, trickling filters. From there is two more 90 foot secondary clarifiers. Uh, then we go to <clears throat> nitrification bays, they're called. Those are the square square bays where we uh, aerate. From there is the four final clarifiers, 90 foot diameter. Uh, from there is tertiary filtration, uh, two quads of tertiary filters, and then chlorination and out to the river. How about power generation? Can you tell our viewers a little bit more about that? Yeah, we have a cogeneration. Um, any of the solids that are produced in the liquid side of the process are pumped to the south end of the plant. That's where we have anaerobic digesters, where we break down uh, the solids and naturally uh, produce methane. The methane from that is pumped to um, four micro turbines, 65 kW. So we produce a uh, monthly average is about a third of the electricity that it takes to run this place. Our viewers at home are always concerned about user rates and cost to them individually. Can you speak to that a little bit about where we may stack up against other communities and maybe the last time we've had a rate increase here in West Bend for the sewer utility? We haven't raised rates since 2006. Uh, a lot of that is because the plant's been maintained so well we haven't had major repairs yet. And the cogeneration produces revenue taking in the extra waste, we get tipping fees and stuff like that, so we've been able to keep rates down for, for a long time, for, since 2006, which is really great for everybody. Steve, earlier today we, you showed me the two containers of water, one with the fresh wastewater that comes into your plant and then a very clear looking container. Can you tell us the difference between the two? Or Yeah, the sample on the left is, is our influent. That's with all the solids suspended in it, everything that's coming in from the city. You can see how dark that is. Um, the sample on the right is our effluent that's going to the river, and you can see that it almost looks like drinking water. It's almost that clear. Steve, that's great to hear, the cleanliness of our water when it leaves the wastewater treatment plant. And thank you so much for joining us uh, here in this episode of the city, teaching their residents at home more about the wastewater treatment plant. Uh, please look forward to the next month episode as we further explore the fire department. Mm -hmm.